I like don't like the flavor of toothpaste while I drink my coffee. Thank goodness for glow ups, because I think I might have had one. We love a supportive boyfriend. I then responded with a selfie because he's also lucky to have me. What's up you guys? I'm Anna Sitar and I'm here with Seventeen for Read Receipts. This is basically phone truth or dare. I can either choose to reply to an embarrassing question or hit ignore and show you something embarrassing from my phone, which is intimidating because I'm not gonna show you these text messages. What is your go-to shower song and can you sing it for us? I'll reply. <laughs> oh man, okay. My favorite shower song that I sing to recently has been Ghost of You by Mimi Webb. Baby, when you're not around, I see you there like not. But I'm stuck in my head and I know you're gone, but I still hold on to the ghost of you. Uh -uh. That's pretty good. Somebody get me a record label. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Ignore. <laughs> okay, well, looks like I'm answering this question anyway, because my most recent selfie is me crying. So that is from today at 10, 16 a.m. And the reason I'm crying in this photo is actually a good thing because I had gotten news that my friend was moving to LA. So it was a happy cry. Who is your ultimate dream collab? Let's reply. And I'm gonna say either Liza Koshy or Emma Chamberlain. I think both would be so fun. I, th I love Liza's sense of humor. I think she's great. And I watched her on Vine like way back in the day. I got to meet her at a at Cannes Film Festival, she was walking off the carpet behind me and I took the opportunity to fangirl and honestly turned around and was like, hi, hi Liza, I think you're great. And she was so sweet. She took the time to talk to me and visit and she was an angel. And then Emma, I just think is so cool. I wanna be as cool as Emma, so she's great. I got to meet Emma at Louis Vuitton's fashion show during Paris Fashion Week. Oh my gosh, so nice. She was like complimenting my outfit and my bag and I was just in heaven. She was so sweet. I had to play it cool because I was like trying to be a homie, but. She was really, really sweet. She was so great to talk to and visit and just like talk about her experiences. And she's made such a difference in social media. It's wonderful. Who is your first celebrity crush? Who is it now? I'm gonna ignore that one. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna look. It was me sending my, <laughs> my boyfriend a video. I feel like my boyfriend and I send each other TikToks all day long. Like our messages are all videos of us that we sent each other. One of the most recent ones that I think is the most relatable is when you try to sit down with an overly attached girlfriend and it's the boyfriend throwing the girlfriend off the couch. Cause that's me. I'm normally the girlfriend in this scenario. What is the worst Starbucks drink you've ever had? I'm gonna reply, anything with peppermint. And it's just cause I'm not a peppermint gal. I like don't like the flavor of toothpaste while I drink my coffee. And it's like a weird sensation. I feel like it makes my ice drinks colder and it makes my hot drinks taste icy. I can't do it. My favorite drink right now, get ready. It's the drink of the fall. I'm here for it. It is the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with caramel drizzle and pumpkin cream cold foam. It sounds sweet because it is, and it is delicious. I am obsessed. I order every time I go and I'm, I'm pretty sure that my baristas are tired of hearing me say it. What's the hardest part of sharing your relationship on social media? I'm gonna ignore that one. Let's look. Okay, the last thing that I Googled, don't be surprised, was the Annenberg <laughs> pet space in Marina Del Rey because I really want a kitten. So I was looking at the selection of kittens and like, look at how cute Felix would be. You could take Felix home at the Annenberg pet space or I could take Felix home and he could be our cat. I love Felix. What was your most surprising moment during Paris Fashion Week? I'll reply to that. Number one was probably just being like associated and surrounded by all these incredible creators, designers, artists. Like the number of people who walked through this room that I just got to stand near. I was just in awe at everyone's talent and just getting to see people and meet everybody and socialize in those scenarios was something I never would have expected in my life would look like. And I was so honored to get to be there and be a part of that incredible experience. And then I think the fashion shows were so beautiful to watch. I got to attend Dior and Louis Vuitton and just sitting in the audience and watching these models walk through with each designer's interpretation of the upcoming style was eye-opening for me. I had never had that much time around so much fashion from doing New York Fashion Week back to back with Paris Fashion Week. Getting to witness it was like a surreal out-of-body experience. Where do you feel the most creative? I'm gonna reply to that. And I think I feel the most creative when I'm like 
comfortable and cozy and in my own space. I make all my videos within my little like 600 square foot apartment and it's like a studio so everything's connected and my bedroom is my office and my office is my kitchen and I love it. It's the best thing on earth to get to be in this space where I can create content and like connect with people and really get to just like give my friends a fun experience of what life looks like in a little bit of adulthood. What's your biggest fear? I'm gonna ignore. <laughs> That's worse than my biggest fear. That probably is my biggest fear. Fine, if you insist. You can't tell me that this is, it doesn't even look like me, but this is my oldest photo of my camera roll. It's a throwback, 2013. Thank goodness for glow ups, because I think I might've had one. Is there a TikTok trend that makes you cringe? I'm gonna ignore. I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> it might've been mine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Oh, okay, this is cute. He sent, I hope you have so much fun today. Remember you're a rock star and everyone's lucky to talk to you, so try and have a good time. We love a supportive boyfriend. I then responded with a selfie because he's also lucky to have me. <laughs> have you ever slid into celebrities DMs? Who and what did you say? I'm gonna ignore him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, easy. Who is it? I love all of them. Oh, it's my little brother. Okay, here show you. What's your most recent draft video about? I'm gonna reply because this is a cute video and I'm very excited to post it, but I have to finish it first. That's the hardest thing. I'm doing from the beginning of October. I've been smiling every day because a smile a day makes the bad days go away. How cute is that? Okay, look at it. And it's literally just videos of me smiling. It's everywhere from like, hang on, like this is in Michigan, this is in Paris. It's like kind of fun. That's like all these different places that I've been for the month. So the reason I haven't posted it is because I think I have like six more seconds left in the song and that's about six more smiles. So sorry, we gotta wait for the smiles to finish up. What's the biggest misconception about you? I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna find out. Ooh, this is not surprising because it's kind of on brand. It's actually Content Brainstorm is the title of my most recent note. I feel like I take really nice notes in my notes app, but I pretty much wrote down ideas for like questions that I get asked all the time and then checklists so I can make videos out of them if I ever get around to it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to Seventeen and look out for more content from me at Anna X Sitar on all my social media platforms. Can't wait to see you soon.